What's up, YouTube? This is your boy Atomic. Thank you for visiting the channel. Love the support. Feel the love. In this video, we will learn how to do a multi pass make weld and learn how to use this method for procedures. The intention of this video is for educational purpose only. Let me start with a story. The specifications and customer standards are very important in the field. In my career, I have been over multiple projects and very important ones too. For this specific project, the welders weren't properly instructed to the specification. I was walking one day through the floor and to my astonishment, I was finding welder operators welding on top of welded faces after the first pass. I instantly was very bugged by this action, but didn't say anything because I didn't have any stewardship over the project, nor did I want to offend anyone. Eventually, I earned the right to oversee the project, and that's when I took matters into my own hands and properly train my welders on how to go about making a correct multi-pass weld. Team, don't ever stack up welds on top of another weld face because that's not going to make the weld joint any stronger. All the welding qualities are being placed in the wrong location of the joint. The penetration depth and welding toughness are being misused somewhere not needed, leaving crucial parts of the joint wide open for failure when this bad practice is being used. Ask yourself this question. What benefit does welding the face of another weld bring to the weld joint after the first pass? Ask, and you shall find. If you answer, no benefit, correct. To is no bueno. Pay attention to leg one and leg two, the highlighted areas which are part of the weld joint. Probably there will be some minimal fusion along leg one and leg two. And I will assume it's cold with no fusion, but I can bet a soda it won't have any penetration depth. The reason why is because the weld gun is melting the metal on the wrong location of the weld joint. Let's use our first pass as a reference point. The correct sequence to follow is to make your first weld right in the middle of the joint of the base material. The second sequence to follow is to do it in the middle of leg two and the bottom toe of your first weld pass. That right there will be your new joint. The third sequence to follow is to do it in between leg one and the upper toe of your first weld pass right in the middle. Keep following the same pattern as needed. If you are learning and enjoying the video, hit that like and subscribe button. Let's continue. All the forces and the mechanical benefits that come from welding will make the weld joint much tougher and resistant to stress. By locating the weld gun at the right place of the joint, the weld legs will be edified with these weld qualities. Remember, when welding, leg one and leg two needs to have full fusion and some penetration depth. Team, do not ever do this. Do this instead. This is an example of the correct sequence when you do a multi-pass weld. If you have never done this procedure, go ahead and test and validate 
and see how strong and beneficial the results are. You save time and consumable and maximize your efforts towards world quality.